I'm Jackson Pierce and it is Tuesday, August 23rd, which means my third book, Sweetly, is officially released in the US. This is very exciting, not only because it is always exciting to have a book release, but because there was very genuinely a time that I never thought this book would be done. Of everything I had written up till that point, this is the one that took the most revision, the most work, the most complete reimagining in some aspects. And so I'm especially proud to finally see this book out in the world. I have several traditions on book release days. The main two are that I eat a lot of ice cream and that I go get a massage. But then last year I did this thing on Twitter where anybody using the hashtag Sisters Red for the entire release day could potentially win prizes. I ended up giving away over a hundred prizes. My post office bill was quite expansive. But it was a lot of fun and we actually got Sisters Red trending in Canada for a little while and it was just really, really cool. This year I am doing the same thing, so starting at 8 a.m. today, August 23rd, tweet with the hashtag Sweetly and over the course of the day I'll be randomly drawing people to give really awesome prizes to. Prizes include foreign editions, hardbacks, arcs, paperbacks, some swag, some candy, some mystery arcs, some of which are signed. It's good stuff and it is really, really easy. You can tweet as many times as you want. You can tweet about things that have nothing to do with Sweetly. All you have to do is use the hashtag Sweetly and each time you tweet is basically an entry to win. I have some other Sweetly related announcements. The Kindle edition of Sweetly has some bonus material at the end. It's an interview between Rosie from Sisters Red and Gretchen from Sweetly. And also a reminder, the Sweetly release party is this Thursday, August 25th at Barnes & Noble in Alpharetta, Georgia. If you can't come to the party because you like live a million miles away or you're busy at like yoga class that night or whatever it is you're doing, you can call the bookstore ahead of time and they will set aside a book for you for me to sign and I can personalize it to you and everything and they will ship it to you. This is probably the easiest way to get a signed book from me if you are not going to see me in person anytime soon. Also, I just want to remind everybody that the best thing you could do to help an author and support an author is to buy his or her book the week it is released. That surge in sales in that first week really, really helps us out. So if you are going to buy Sweetly, I would really appreciate it if you did it this week. But if you gotta buy it later, that's okay too. I'd rather you buy it, period. I'm just saying, if, if you know, if you could buy it like, you know, this week instead of like on Monday, I would, that would just be awesome. So. I'm looking at the freezer right now because I already bought my ice cream for tomorrow and it's in there and it's calling to me. I'm not gonna lie, I already sampled quite a bit of it, including some that I ate in the car, which it's in a pint container. So literally I was in the car with the container like, looking at cars next to me. It was awkward, but it was worth it because it is really good ice cream. All right, I have to go to bed because I have to wake up at 8 a.m. Eastern to start the Twitter contest. So uh, yeah, but. Release day. They don't get old, just so you know, no matter how many books you publish, like the third book just as exciting as the first one. I'm pumped. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm definitely not gonna go eat ice cream before bed. Definitely not.